Hi, three things you must consider while you're creating content for the social media or for YouTube or for any content you want to use in the digital space. Whatever kind of content, it doesn't matter whether it is educative content, whether it is informative content, whatever kind of content you want to put out there, as long as it is a content that you want people to view and not just people from your immediate environment, not just people from your country, but people from across the world. As long as you want that content to give you the right feedback by getting more and more uh, for people to get value from it, you need to do these three things I'm going to say. But before I mention those three things, I did, I did a book that is called Monetize Your Talent. Please, if you need a copy of that, I'm going to put a link somewhere, maybe in the comment section. Please go click it and check out the book. In fact, the three ideas that I'm going to share with you uh, in that book, I gave a very in-depth explanation as to what you need those three items for. And what I'm talking about is, you know the world is going digital. Whether you like it or not, the world is going digital. Now, somebody from India can consult for somebody in Nigeria and earn from it. Somebody from Nigeria can do a copyright for somebody in USA without meeting the person and the person will get paid. So the world is now is no longer just a global community. It's getting tinier and tinier. It's becoming a community. It's becoming an online community. It's shrinking the more. And that is why you can comfortably now use applications built in a faraway China and you're enjoying it anywhere in the world or built in US and you're enjoying it even right here in Nigeria or anywhere in Africa where you are. So the truth of the matter is that for you to be able to for you to be able to get this get your content across board and sell it. Here are the three things. Number one, you need to be sure that you have global identity. What is global identity? Global identity majorly is talking about having an identity that can be recognized globally. Having a, a value chain information that can that anybody from any part of the world will find interesting. Let me show you something. Now, when I wrote the book Monetize Your Talent and I posted it online, anybody from any part of the world has talent. So, everybody will want to know how can I benefit from it? Because somebody from US who has talent wants to know how he can monetize his talent. Somebody from Korea wants to know how he can monetize his talent. Somebody from uh, China wants to know how he can monetize his talent. And so on and so forth. So, if you have a global identity, start, and then for you to actually have a global identity, apart from the significance, which is the next thing, apart from the significance of your content you also need to design your, your your branding has to have a global appeal nobody in the world hates quality everybody likes quality and so if you put out something that does not have quality people will necessarily may not necessarily even value it all right and so you must also be able to put out quality values that the people love because you know you know because you're not selling to your immediate environment you may not be able to be explaining to everybody who sees your content online because Online contents are seeking for dominance. And so if you if you if you design your content in, in mind, having in mind of global global uh, identity, knowing that you want to have a global identity, which means from your branding, from your naming, from everything you need to do, you need to be able to communicate an identity that people from anywhere in the world can see it and they can identify with it. For instance, let me tell you something. Crying. Emotions, they have global, they, they have they have one singular global meaning. If I'm crying now and somebody from China sees me, or somebody from Korea, or so I don't know why I'm using Asia only as an example, or somebody from US, or somebody from Mexico, or somebody from any or any African country, South Africa, Zambia, whatever. Once you see me, you know I am not fine, you know I am not happy. That's why I'm crying. If I'm sad, you will know if what so. That is, we have what we call the global emotions. So same thing goes with your branding, same thing goes with your naming, same thing goes with the, with the tricks you apply. If you do not have a content that the entire world is going to look at and see value in it, you're not going to be able to sell properly online. So if you are selling for digital community, you must have a global identity. Take, take it for instance, Amazon. Anywhere, anybody from every part of the world is using it because it has a global identity. Now, you don't need all the money for you to have global identity. All you just need to do is to 
Make sure that you consider all cultures while doing your content. That will help you in global identity. Number two, that your content must have if you want it to sell, if you want it to thrive, is global relevance. Apart from having a, an appeal that is globally accepted, it has to also have global relevance, which means the content that you are putting out must have commensurate value to somebody in another country with the same value the person that is from your immediate country will take because if it doesn't have that kind of value, relevance, then there's no need to put it in digital space. Anybody who wants to put something on digital space wants to be sure that it generates value that people beyond his immediate environment will feel it. So, when you are creating a content, or doing anything you are doing online, and you want it to sell digitally, you want to make money, or you want to get value uh, uh, feedback, or you want to get more people to view your content, or you want to get more people to like your content, or comment on your content, it must have global relevance. So, people must see that global, people must see your content as something that is valuable. All right so first is global identity people must have to see it from the title from the naming from whatever thing you say people need to see it and identify that okay this is like a solution to a problem they are looking for global relevance it has to be relevant to the people who are going to watch it and finally global authority there are many ways to drive in global authority we thrive in a world of digital online community which means if i want to learn how to lose weight for instance, I have to go on Google or any other search engine and type, how do I lose weight? What is going to pop up are people who have shared experiences or information on how to lose weight. If I want to learn how to make money, I can go on Google or any other uh, online platform that I feel that is a search engine and I type, how do I make money? If I want to learn how to write a book, pop in fact, recently I was researching on how to publish an ebook because I, I, my book was an ebook and I needed to learn how to self-publish. I went online and Googled how to self-publish as an ebook writer and I saw thousands and thousands of content. Those people automatically become authority in those fields. So for you to gain a global, for you to become global authority in a digital time, it's no longer just about you having thousands and thousands of certificates in a particular field of study. No, it is about you putting out thousands and thousands of information, valued information, not just any kind of information, valued information that people can look at and be like, okay, wow, this is good. And then they will begin to cite you as an authority. Until you get to that level, you may not be able to even sell much. So you must have a global authority, which means people can Google your Google about something or people can search for something online and your content will be among those content popping up. You know why? Because you shared a value. So there are people, there are so many facts. When I was writing that book, uh, Monetize Your Talent, I actually searched for the definition of global authority and I couldn't find any. So I have to create a global authority definition. And so when you can now search, you can now begin to find my book online trying to define global authority and that's how it happens so if you know an area where you are talented in you know that you have you have knowledge in please start sharing on your blogs on your social media any place you can because the more and more value you give to people the more and more you become an authority in that field and the more and more when people come online to look for content they seek for you so when you now put out a content online you have already a loyal community that is willing to patronize you so you want to sell online you want to make money from online these three factors are the things you need to consider global authority if you want to sell online global relevance if you want to sell online and global authority if you want to sell online when you combine these three factors together i tell you and produce a content or produce a product or service or or bet anything at all you are going to sell thank you very much for watching please do me a favor subscribe uh, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment what do you think leave a comment below what do you think about those three factors being the key things that you need to consider when creating a content for global consumption especially when you are selling online so what do you think about global relevance global authority global identity as the key three things you have to consider while creating content or creating value or product or services that you intend to send sell on digital space until we meet again next week please don't forget again subscribe leave a comment like this post or this video if you like it please hit the like uh, the like button and make sure you turn on the notification for us to have more and more of such conversation thank you for watching bye